If I'm talking about Linux, I should probably begin with how I started my journey with Linux. It happened a long time ago when I was in college. The computer was new at my house. At that time there used to be only one magazine I think on computers which actually focused on Linux and software. It's called PC Quest. There were other magazines but they focused a lot on gadgets and other stuff. PC Quest mostly focused on software and that's why I liked it. The good thing that they did in India is they started giving out free distributions of Red Hat Linux. That was around 12 years ago. So one of the days I got my copy of PC Quest. There was a free CD along with it of Red Hat Linux. And at that time I was running Windows. I don't know what version of Windows was that. I think it was Windows 98 and the year was 2000. So I thought like in college you have a lot of free time. So let's give it a try. I put in the CD, started installing things and it installed not without hiccups. Installing with Linux in those days was really difficult. You have to do everything by hand. You have to prepare the partitions, make the swap space ready, format the partitions and and at that time people and me of course were not really conversant with how to do the partitions and everything. It had to be done using some other third party software and all that. So I put in a lot of time researching that, doing a lot of things, made a lot of mistakes but eventually it installed. That was a great thing because at that time installing Linux by itself was a great challenge and I was satisfied that I could install it successfully. Then I went back to college, told my friends about it. They also installed it. Again, at that time, one of the major experiences was installation. Today it does not even hold true. You just install, put in the DVD or CD or whatever it is and it gets installed. It's that easy now. It wasn't easy back then. After installation was done, I tried experimenting with small things like command line, writing small scripts and programs and everything. It was fun. At that time, Linux did not really offer a lot of things for a desktop user. Windows was still the ruler. The games, all the utilities, all the software, all the programming environments was majorly developed for Windows. Linux had their tools, but it was too difficult to use at that time for people who were just beginning. So it did not really take off that well. Then after college I started working, initial part of work was mostly on Windows but side by side I kept experimenting along with Linux. The versions became better and better, Linux became mature but are not really at the, it was not really at the point where you could use it comfortably for daily use. The main point came when I bought a laptop. I bought a compact Presario around 5 years ago, it had Windows on it. I also wanted to install Linux on it. So what I had that at that time I think it was Red Hat or uh, SUSE or something. Maybe I tried all of them. I installed these versions one by one. There were always problems. One of the versions would not detect uh, Bluetooth. The other one would not detect Wi-Fi. Still the other one would not detect the graphic chipset. I was tired of all this. I was researching for all these problems on the internet. Ubuntu at that time was really new. The year must have been uh, 2005. I don't know what version of Ubuntu was that, maybe 1 or 2. Whatever it was, I downloaded the CD, installed it on my laptop, hoping that everything will be detected and will be able to use the laptop comfortably. That was the promising point of Ubuntu at that time, that it is really good, it has really good support for laptop, all the drivers and everything. I installed it and my laptop worked like a charm. So there was a good thing. Since that time, since that day, I have stuck to Ubuntu for my all my desktop and personal use. And because of that reason, Ubuntu has become popular over the years because people working for Ubuntu have really taken good care that it is usable across all the spectrum of users from the developers to the hobbies to the naive users. So that is mostly the essence of my journey with Linux. I can call it my personal journey with Linux over the last one decade.